Michelle goes ballistic. Boots reporter who recorded sick comments on Melania. By Rebecca DeSirio, Politics US News for MadWorldNews.com. Michelle Obama was down in Florida where she was uh, headlining a secret talk, which was an in, uh, invitation only. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Robin Given uh, from the Washington Post was invited, but she got booted out. Michelle went ballistic after Given uh, recorded the former First Lady's private conversation, which included spiteful comments about Melania Trump and dared to make them public. Page Six is reporting on Michelle Obama's going postal when she learned that a Washington Post journalist published a story reporting on Michelle's secret talk, sarcastically describing Michelle's secret confession as taking place in a sacred space. Robin Given knew Michelle would blow a gasket when her words went public. Talk about going uh, postal. Uh, reports page six, the BET network booted a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist from its conference for publishing a Q&A with Michelle Obama, sparking a social media storm. Toledo Watkins, Robin Given, you violated a sacred trust between women, black women, and between yourself and your profession. I suggest you do the right thing and remove these tweets and that article immediately. Robin Given, I suggest you get your facts straight. Page Six reported the network had invited the Washington Post Robin Given to its sita syntactically, sorry, questionable leading uh, women defined conference in Bal Harbor, Florida, but they then demanded she leave after she published her article claiming that Obama's talk had been conducted in a sacred space. Wow. So what was so horrendous that Michelle ordered BET to boot an African-American Pulitzer Prize winning journalist? Well, Michelle thought she was off the record and Given describes the event as a conversation between friends, between Michelle Obama and former presidential advisor Ver Valerie Jarrett. Given describes Jarrett's conversation with Michelle reporting what was on her mind, Jarrett wanted to know when the president and Mrs. Obama welcomed their successors to the White House. Michelle rambled on about her daughters leaving the White House for the last time and crying when she said goodbye to the staff. Then she changes her tone and of course she, Melania, gave me the box. That would be the large Tiffany box that Melania Trump presented to Mrs. Obama a moment uh, that defined protocol and left Mrs. Obama spinning in circles trying to figure out where to put it because all the staff had disappeared. Wow, are we back to this nonsense again? Michelle's tone was sarcastic and of course she gave me the box and if Melania's gift had been a slap in the face, uh, we all know Michelle did exactly the same thing. She brought a gift and gave it to Laura Bush as the Obamas came to the White House right after the inauguration, which was all captured on video. Let's take a quick listen, or look, I should say. Oh, so see, Michelle did bring a box. So what were they making this whole thing up about that box Melania gave her? Look. I hope it's not Tupperware. Who said that? And look how gracefully Barbara Bush handled that gift. Like she didn't, she wasn't as flustered. Well, you know, class, you know what I'm saying? I remember Michelle going around in circles as if uh, she was surprised that she was given a gift. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
So, given states that Michelle made a point to not utter President Donald Trump's name, but she made it clear Mrs. Obama was directing much of her talk at the Trumps. Uh, we go high when they go low. Avoidance of uttering a certain name is how Given describes the entire talk. Isn't that really disgusting? But there's more. Michelle still had some jabs to get in about leaving the White House and the Trumps moving in. Given's report says what was Mrs. Obama thinking as she and uh, President Obama waved farewell from Marine One. Bye, Felicia, Jarrett joked, and she laughed. Of course, this reference, bye, Felicia, is a saying which means bye, bitch, according to the Urban Dictionary. Everyone Michelle knew was leaving with her, so again we find her being very hateful towards the Trumps. Jarrett then asked her, uh, what is her advice to Melania? Should she choose to take it? Which Michelle answered, take some time to know what you care about and what you can do in the realm of the administration. You have to know what the goals of the administration are. You can't go in with guns blazing until people trust you. Another quite ridiculous claim was Michelle thinking that the audience of The View is not political. Michelle said she wanted to stay out of politics, so she turned her attention to television shows such as The View and Ellen and their middle-of-the-road audiences. Other jabs that seemed directed at Melania was Michelle saying, I couldn't count on my husband's campaign to protect me. I had to protect myself. Uh, they were using me like a candidate and supporting me like I was a spouse. I had to learn how to deliver a message, Michelle added, which is a direct hit at Melania. Just this week, Jimmy Kimmel trashed the First Lady for rolling out her cyberbullying campaign for kids. Melania fought back against her critics and told them that she would not be intimidated when it comes to helping kids. Obviously, Robin Given... Uh, got booted out for recording Michelle's words and publishing them for the world to see. We are thankful for her transparency and actually doing her job, something most in the mainstream media refuse to do. With Hillary Clinton still traveling around the world and lamenting her loss to Trump and Michelle being hateful towards Melania, Americans are tired of hearing their Complaints, it just proves leftists are immature idiots who can't get over a loss. Uh, they need to uh, put on their big girl pants and move on with their lives. What did Michelle think? Uh, that uh, she was uh, some sort of uh, a, a queen where you never leave uh, the White House? I mean, it, 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 it's just like mind boggling. And it's really disgusting. Uh, look what we had in the White House. I mean, look at the mess we had in that White House. Uh, we, uh, I, I just can't believe like a first lady speaking like that um, by Felicia. I mean, wh where are we in the hood? I mean, really? Uh, it, it's just, you know, uh, and I remember Michelle when she got the package from Melania, she was like, if, and I didn't really pay attention to politics, you know. So, And she was going around in circles. Did you see how uh, Barbara Bush, and because I didn't pay attention to politics, I had no idea that Barbara Bush uh, was given the gift by Michelle. I just saw the video uh, just now uh, that I showed you guys. I mean, it's just... Uh, I'm at a loss for words with this. It's just very disturbing and disgraceful and disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful this woman was. Uh, and, and, and I'm happy we have uh, Melania in there uh, who's elegant and can represent the White House uh, with dignity, you know, and bring some dignity that, that was lacking for the eight years the Obamas were there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.